Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to see how to create this bulb light. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class. Let's start by creating a plan with dimensions 120 by 120. We center him in the skin. Here, the material editor we will upload our reference. The download link will be in the video description. Now we apply it to the plan. First, let's make the base using a line and go around the entire base of the model. In vertex mode, we will align the lines using vertex snap. We align all the points so that they are correctly. This one from above we will align on the Y axis. Now in the modifiers tab we use the left. We click on it and drag it on the x-axis to create a base shape of the model. Ok, now let's make the top part the base. Again, we go in the line and create the outline of part. Holding shifts to create this line using a snap. Make creation easy of points at different type of angles. We apply a lathe again and adjust the model so that it's correctly. Here, I'm going to reduce this space a little, just returning the line and reducing the distance between the points. With the two models created, we will change the color to make it easy to see. And now let's create the boob part of the lamp. For this we use helix. Let's select it and click and drag. Then you release the click and drag again to create the helix. I will change the color for better visualization. Let's rotate it 9 degrees and center it with the reference. Let's move the reference on the Y axis a little further to better see our helix. With the helix selected, we will adjust the radius parameters to 15. On turns, we will change it to 2.20 and finally, we adjust it haze following the reference. As we can see this bulb start at the back of the model. Indoor is starting toward the front. Let's adjust this using mirror. We change it to Y. Let's adjust the position and then create a copy again with the mirror now on the X axis and with the copy option turn it on. Notice that both are coming out of the same back location. Let's adjust so that the new cop starts from the front. Again, we go to mirror and change it to Y. Now let's adjust the top. To do this, we will apply an edit spline and invert this mode. We will enable soft selection and adjust this part as in the reference. Let's do the same on the other part. Now we have the bubble almost complete. To finish, we will create a new line to connect this piece. Let's go to line and with vertex snap turn it on, we create this new line. 
with the new line created, we go to Segment Options and apply a divide with the value of 2. Now let's join all the lines with Attach. In Vertices mode, we will delete 2 in its helix. Now let's join these vertices in Weld and convert them to corner. Once this is done, we use the fillets to round the points. In the front view, we adjust them so they are more in form. Now let's enable visualization in the viewport and add thickness to our boob. Once this step is complete, we will create the last piece of our model. For this, let's go back to line. Let's convert it to editable poly. I will select all the Zs at the top and apply chamfer to round this top as in the heifers. We will select the model and apply scale to adjust with the reference. Let's adjust the top with soft in selection, and then we adjust the middle of the piece. Once that is done, I'm going to create this middle of the piece. We're going to delete half of it. Let's close this part using bridge and cap. Here, I'm going to change the color so we can better visualize this upper part. Let's remove the Zs and use Cut and Connect to recreate this mesh. Let's do the same on the bottom. With the cuts, we will create an outline to support this piece. We apply a symmetry to mirror the shape. I'm going to move this line up a little. Ok, I'm going to add a segment at the bottom and another on this edge. Here, we we'll see that the part is working. Now let's create a hole where the boom will fit. For this, I will add one more segment here and we will select all this face to apply an insert and then we transform the shape into our circle. Here I will return the boom to check if the size is correct. Let's adjust it to make it fit better.
But now, with the face selected by holding shift, we will extrude on the Y axis. We apply a bevel to make this edge hard and add a support loop on this inside. Returning to the boom, we will adjust this last vertex so that it is aligned with the hole. We do the same on the other piece. Now we add an edit poly and we will extrude this face so that enter the hole. Just holding shift and extruding the inner line on the Y axis. Here we will create an insert. I will return the base and we will see that it needs to be a little smaller. Here we will adjust the fit between to the two pieces. We apply the modifier and adjust again. Ok, now let's create a copy of this piece with the mirror with the copy option turned around. And let's position it in the other part of the boom. Here is the same process that we did in the other part. We extrude and align this face. Ok, now that we have the entire base of the model created. Let's refine the other parts. Let's just keep the bottom part in its space. Let's convert both to editable poly. I'm going to center the pivot of this piece and close this hole. On the Zs, we'll just add support loops to keep in the corners stiff. The shortcut to insert loops is Alt 1. Ok, now we add Open Subdivide modifier. Now let's align this piece so that they are centered correctly. To do this, we will join the two pieces from above in a single mesh and then center its pivot. Now on the bottom piece, we will align it with the top piece on the X axis. Let's do the same with the bottom piece. Now let's increase this piece with the scale. At the top, we will reduce the scale to fit the other piece. Finally, let's refine the last piece. Let's close this hole and add support loops like we did on the top piece. In this loop, we will add an extrude to create a division between this piece and continue adding support loops. On the Zs, I will apply a ring and connect of adds equal to the same value. At the bottom, we will create a small curvature that is coming in lamp of this type. Ok, in this loop, I will add an extrude and insert support loops. Ok, 
Finally, we'll increase the model scale a little and apply an open subdivision modifier. To finish, we will create this detail that holds the metal part. Before, I will add support loop to the Zs. Now let's create the detail using a single line. It's very simple. I will adjust the thickness Now returning to this piece We will apply an edit poly and create a shape from this loop Ok, we can delete the edit poly modifier Let's just select the shape and the detail In the detail, we will use the value of 6 on sides we apply an edit poly and refine this piece. Now, in rotate mode, let's change to the last option and go to pick and select your shape. Here, we will see that it will rotate on the shape axis. By holding shift, we will create copies around the shape. Let's create 17 copies and go to OK. We can now delete the shape, we no longer need it. I will join all this piece with attach and apply a subdivide modifier. Here, we have the model created and finished. I hope you enjoyed the content. See you next time. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.